Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain you how you can query your SQL database using Azure OpenAI and LangChain agents. So let's say you have more complex scenarios and you are not able to deal with SQL database chain which I explained in my previous video. So let me quickly share it. So this was the video which I created earlier and in this I've explained you how you can query your SQL database using chain. But for some reason, if it is not giving you proper results, then it is always a good idea to go with agents. And that's what I'm going to explain in this video. So make sure that you have installed all these Python packages. Then we need to import these packages over here. And here I have pushed all my configuration settings in a configuration.env file and that's the reason I'm using .env values to read those values. So after it is done, I'm going to create a connection string. So for connection string, I have already created a SQL database instance uh, in Azure portal. So you can create that and just grab the connection string from here. So I have already done that part and pushed my connection string into my configuration file. Okay, so once we have the connection string, we can go ahead and construct this engine. So engine is again coming from this SQL alchemy. So you just need to make sure that you have installed it. And once that is done, you can go ahead and create your database object used by passing the engine and the schema. So this is again optional. If you want, you can pass it to true or false, whatever you want. So I'm going to create run this cell as well. So at this step, our database is good. So it is always recommended that you just validate it by writing few steps or just to by fetching some tables and make sure that your database is uh, like accessible from here. Okay, so next thing is we need to construct the LLM. So here I'm using completion endpoint and these are the parameters which we need to pass. Model, deployment name, API key, version, and the endpoint. So temperature and if you have any of the parameters which you want to pass in, then you can just pass it using comma separated. And in the next line, I'm taking this toolkit, which is the one which will query for us. Okay, now next thing is using create SQL agent we can create our agent. So this agent required few key parameters. So if you will hover over this, you will see all these are the parameters, but the bare minimum ones which we need for our scenario is the LLM, the toolkit, which is our SQL database toolkit, verbose, it could be true or false based on your requirement. Then you need to pass in agent type. So if you're not sure what is this agent type, let me point you. So this was the URL which I have discussed in my previous video as well. So these are all the agent types which you can use this and I'm going with the very first one which is zero shot react description and what it does is it will first uh, do the reasoning and then we'll start executing our query and that's what we want in our case. So I will execute this cell as well and we are good to go with this one. So earlier it was run which is now going to deprecate soon so it is always good to go and use invoke. So if I will execute this query, count the rows in the employees table, then it will give me the output, which is three. So in my table, there are just three rows that I have created it for experiment and experimental purpose. But in your case, it could be a huge table. And if I'm asking this question, list everyone whose name starts with M in the employees table, then it will give me the final answer as Maria. So this is one way to do this. Now, there are very high chances that again, you may not get the result what you are expecting. Because when I was experimenting this, I was not getting Maria as the answer, rather I was just getting this query. So in order to improve the system, I thought to introduce the prompt template because prompt template is a one way to tell the LLM that what actually we are expecting. So let's see how we can utilize prompt template for the same scenario and for the same set of question. So, uh, and I'm also changing a little bit here. So rather than completion, I'm taking chat as an example so that you can see how you can pass your system and the user messages along with your prompt template. So let's start with this one here. I'm importing Azure chat open AI. These are the configurations which we need. The toolkit is still same how we have done before and there is no change in this particular thing. So I will quickly execute these two cells. Okay, and this is my prompt template, which I'm 
creating using chat prompt template and what I'm saying is for system you are a SQL Server expert who can execute and query SQL database to find answers based on the user's questions about tables available in the database and here user's prompt is nothing but the query and then the question so this is how I'm writing a very simple prompt but let's say if your responses are not up to the mark then make sure to write a bit more or elaborate it more by explaining that what each table uh, what each tables are doing each of the tables are doing or what each of these fields are doing or wherever it is not giving the proper result it is always good to use system message and train the system so i am executing this cell and then i'm asking the same question using my prompt template that lists everyone whose name starts with m in employees table and oops so looks like i did some mistake So using invoke, I was able to do it. Like I said, run is going to depli uh, deprecate soon. So it's always good to use invoke. And that's what the answer is. So your output is Maria. And here you can see how it is doing the reasoning and what all steps it is taking. For the first, it tries to generate the schema of your table. Then these are the possible rows in my table. And after that, it is just trying to extract the, the name starting with M. So these are the two different ways and you can choose any one which works best for you. So do let me know in comments if this is the approach which is working for you. Thanks for watching.